Welcome back everyone. This video is a tribute to all the stars who created wonderful memories for us, and we honor their lasting legacy. But before we start, let me know if you recognize any of the following actors and actresses. When did you notice them for the first time and how old were you? Do you have any particularly nostalgic recollections of them? Let me know in the comments section below. Betty Furness was an American actress, consumer advocate, and television personality. She began her career as a model, working for high-profile clients such as Macy's and Saks Fifth Avenue. Furness was also an active supporter of animal welfare and served on the board of the American Humane Association. Douglas Dumbrell was a Canadian actor who had a prolific career in Hollywood, appearing in over 200 films and television shows. Dumbrell was known for his commanding presence and deep, resonant voice, which made him well-suited for playing authority figures such as police officers, military officers, and business executives. Known for her exaggerated, shrill voice, Estelle Harris was an American actress and comedienne. Her most famous role on Seinfeld was Estelle Costanza. As an amateur performer and dinner theater actress, Harris began her career before moving on to regional theaters and summer stock productions. A Spanish baritone singer and actor, Fortunio Bonanova was a pseudonym of Josep L.L.S. Mall. In 1921, he starred in the silent film Don Juan Tenorio, which was shown in New York City and Hollywood. He died of a cerebral hemorrhage in 1969 in Woodland Hills, California. George Sewell was an English actor born on August 31, 1924, in Hoxton, London. He appeared in numerous television shows and films, both in the UK and internationally, over a career spanning several decades. Sewell was a prolific character actor who was highly regarded in the industry. Venezuelan actor Gustavo Rodriguez worked in film, theater, and television. A legendary actor, Rodriguez gained prominence in 1979 in Estefana, where he played the disgusting villain Pedro Escobar, a fictional character based on Pedro Estrada, notorious human rights abuser during the Marcos Perez Jimenez government. Jack Crescian was a Canadian character actor known for his roles in film, television, and theater. He began his career as a vaudeville performer before moving to Hollywood in the 1940s. Crescent appeared in over 200 film and television productions during his career, including memorable roles in films such as The Apartment and The War of the Worlds. Milo O'Shea was an Irish actor known for his work on stage, television, and film. He was born on June 2, 1926, in Dublin, Ireland, and began his career in Irish theatre before moving to London and later New York. On television, he was perhaps best known for his role as Judge Fulton on the sitcom The Golden Girls. Ray Teal was an American actor who appeared in over 250 films and television shows. In the 1950s, Teal began to transition to television, where he found a great deal of success. He appeared in numerous westerns, including Tales of Wells Fargo as well as crime dramas like Perry Mason. He continued to work in television until his death on April 2, 1976, at the age of 74. Susan Anspach was an American actress known for her work in theater, film, and television. She appeared in numerous films throughout the 1970s. Anspach also appeared in several TV series, including The Defenders and The Nurses. She was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in Play It Again, Sam. Tom Tolles was a character actor who portrayed villains in films, theaters, and television. He earned an Independent Spirit Award nomination for Best Supporting Male for his role as Otis in Henry, 
portrait of a serial killer which was his breakthrough role. 